What is up, everybody? It is I, Ronan, and welcome to another episode of Bad Deck Ideas, where I make a deck that is bad, and I play it, and try to get some gimmicky stuff. Now, I want to open up by saying that even though this is Gokies, okay, this is Gokies, understand how you might be confused. This is not a good deck, because if you look at the extra deck, you will notice there is not a single nightmare in here. Now you might be wondering, why isn't there a single nightmare in here? Well, today's bad deck idea, well, you probably read the title, so you probably know, is Gokies. And I'm not talking standard meta Gokies, I am talking the pure Goki deck, meaning we are running all Goki cards except for I sold, because I sold really good, and the Goki Link monsters. Now, and of these Link monsters, the only one that's like really super good is Giant Ogre. So that is the basic strategy to climb up to a Giant Ogre and then hopefully go to town. But uh, yeah, this should be good. You know, we got all of our uh, Goki staples. We got all the searchy ones plus the Moon Salt because he is a fun comboy boy. And uh. Yeah, rules of this are we've got free games to see how we do. Goal is obviously to get a winning record, meaning we win two of our two out of our free. If someone just sort of quits randomly, we will look for another game because we want that. It's more interesting that way. And uh quick disclaimer, just so you know, uh these decks are not competitive. They will not be competitive. Any success they have is probably because our opponent was a worse player than we were. And the most competitive these will probably be is against someone who has never really played the game before. But you felt bad for them, so you decided, alright, I'll use an easy deck on them. And then they start matching it up, and they're enjoying themselves, so it's all generally okay. But, uh, yeah, with that out of the way, let's just get right into the first game. I'll see you there. Alright, here we are in the first game with Luna PG Foral, and okay, uh, we actually won. I did not expect that. We are playing a more beatdown centric strategy, so we will try to go second. And we are open and hot. Just, just. Any hand you open suplex is good. We're on the draw, so if we get another Goki, having head bat is just even better. Like. Woot. Oh, cool, we're playing against some red eyes. I like red eyes. Uh, he's probably going to be going for the Comet Dragon since that's the only one that does first turn burn. And maybe it'll be super hot if we get FTK'd here. Okay, if he has two Inferno Fire Blasts, then we get FTK'd. A part of me hopes he does because I want to see this FTK work. But even if he doesn't, I will be, I'll be satisfied with this experience, I think. Okay, so, Comet Pass. Strong turns. Strong turns out here. Okay, so, you know, we got the obvious opener with our suplex. Yes. No. We'll use it to summon our Rise Scorpio. Now we could go into I sold here. Actually, let's check something out real fast. I want to make sure I understand the summoning condition of something. Uh, so we're going to view. And we are going to be looking at our great ogre. 2 plus Gokies. All monsters lose equal to their defenses. This would destroy that battle. Card effect destroy one. Okay, so Thunder Ogre is the one that gives us a another normal summon but I actually want to go for we can power this up I actually want to go for the great ogre here because he will let us get over that big boy uh, click suplex click head bat we get free searches off that 
which is awesome. Uh, it doesn't really matter what order we put them in, because they all do the same thing. Uh, so what do we want? Uh, Octo Stretch could be nice to get. Let's see, we want a rematch, definitely. So we can get great Ogre's effects. And... Let's grab another... What else can we get? Let's grab another Suplex so we can make some plays next turn. Now we will activate Rematch. And we will be reviving... Let's go for Eyes Scorpio and Headbat. No. And since Goki monsters have no defense points, it makes it possible to, like, uh, do that. Alright, actually, we might just go for Jet Ogre here. That might be cool. And we'll use our two monsters here. Now to the battle phase for more damage. No. I would like to hold on to the Phoenix Blade. Alright, so I think we will be able to chain up with Designator from the Grave here. We should be able to, at least. Oh, well, we can still attack for all the damage. Uh, no, not yet. So there we go, not bad. Main Phase 2. Let's go ahead and protect our Jet Ogre a bit because he is the one most at risk. Play our des our called by the grave. Past turn, so not bad actually. Uh, surprisingly good turn. Uh, we can probably go for another play next turn. Assuming we don't die? Ooh, another Red Eyes Fusion. No, that's rough, though. Uh, thankfully... Okay, so he's going for another Comet Dragon. He can do a lot of burn damage. I know that. Uh, we will not, actually. Oh, actually, shoot, we could have negated its effects. Yeah, okay, that was my bad. My bad. My guess is he did not read Great Ogre, and that's why he summoned that in attack mode, because Red Eyes Fusion keeps him from summoning anything else for the rest of the turn. Oh, Red Eyes Insight. Uh, no, so we can search out a Red Eyes spell. Another Fusion, which he can't activate. Okay, then. Solid moves. Alright, so we will resummon... This one, obviously. Yes. No. We will now summon the Octo Stretch in defense. Now we will. We can just go for another. Actually, we could go for Master Ogre here. Once return, you can return to any number of Gokis you control to this points to, then target any number of your face of cards your opponent controls. Effects negated. That's good. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. Uh, I actually will just go for another Jet Ogre here. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter since they're both searches. No. A uh, rematch, obviously. And... Headbat. Now, real fast, we're going to activate Designator so we can stop all the skills of that red eyesy boy. No. And I'm actually going to hold on to the rematch so I can recover a little bit next turn in case he lives. It's 
Let's see, I believe that all its abilities will be negated, right? Or am I wrong? Oh yeah, its abilities are negated, yay. Alright, so that's game, I think. Or, is it? Yeah, it is, alright. So nice, we won game one. Alright, pretty solid. Didn't, uh... I'm guessing he was going for a red eyes... Burn thing? Seems it didn't work out for him, though. You know, we opened really well, I'll say that much, but, uh... One thing Doki is good at is uh, fixing its own hand, so... Yeah, not bad. Let's hope we can keep this going in the next game. I'll see you guys there. Alright, here we are in the real game, too, with... That is a name. Uh, now say Yuger Kaz... Kamlizo. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that again, but, you know, we won again, going second. And... Honestly, could be worse. Oh. Okay, then. Uh, luckily, there's some stuff I can do. Uh, so I guess we drop the hug bear and summon an octo stretch. Now we activate the, the face turn, tribute our octo stretch. To get back our hug bear. Yep. Now we can use our octo stretch to search a card. So, what do we even want right now? Like we haven't used our normal summon, so we can probably just grab a suplex. So yeah, we summon suplex. We can try to go key OTK here. Actually, now we summon a head bat. Now we can special summon things, so yay. Uh, we can go for a Thunder Ogre and get a additional normal summon. Let's see. If this card points is destroyed in battle, you can make this card any 400 attack. Uh, Great Ogre gives us free searches? I kind of like that. So we can search another Goki. We can search a rematch, and we can search a something else. So not bad. Even if he negates one, we only need like two searches, so... First we search something else, Goki. I'm going to grab a Moonsault. Now we search... a rematch. And lastly, we can just search something else, Goki, I guess. So, uh. Suplex for that next turn recovery. Now we will rematch to revive Octo Stretch and Hug Bear, because I like them both. Now we can special summon again. A Shadow Ogre might be cool, but I would rather go for a Jet Ogre. Right here. Now, let's go ahead and activate this one. So, we drop the... Oh shoot, I actually thought of a plan. We drop the Suplex. Summon that. Then we can activate Moon Soul by bouncing the head bat back to our hand. Then, yeah, we just battle, I guess. So, we did put a lot of damage on board here. At least. I hope I'm not not playing around Agoras right now. You know, that'd be unfortunate. Alright, so, yeah, main phase two. I... I'm honestly pretty happy with this field, I like it. Uh, so yeah, not bad. You know, almost an OTK? Almost an OTK, let's see what he does, though. Oh, he was playing a ritual thing? Okay. Probably Heralds. 
Oh, he's playing Demise. I wonder if he bricked or he just wanted stuff to destroy. Alright, so yeah, there's the Devi Ritual stuff going on. You know, I actually don't know anything about the Demise deck, but... He can't use the skills, can he? He doesn't have the life points, I don't think. Like, is there maybe a way around the life points? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see, so we got his Debbie Rituals out. He has... End of the World, that lets him summon the classic ruler. I know that much. And... Oh, it has no attack points though, because the defense points! Ooh, but he sent this. Let's see. Destroy one face up. You can target one ritual monster you control. It, your opponent can't activate cards or effects in response to its activate. Oh, so yeah. Uh, I guess he just couldn't pay the life points. So, uh. The Great Ogre putting in all the work right now. We are two for two. So, already that winning record. Let's see if we can go undefeated this time in the final game. See you guys there. Alright, here we are in the final game with Ingrana Gym. These are some weird names tonight, and we actually lost this one. So, our hand's a little insane. Hopefully, he let us... And yeah, he let us go second, so that's what we want anyway. So, uh... Yeah, all in all, good things going on right now. Oh, some vampires. Vampires are scary. Hopefully, well, it won't be too scary if it's just like a Fraulein. Or just Link Karibo. He needs that in the graveyard, so that's a fair play, I think. Uh, you can pay 500 and... Uh, so... Summon it back, send a grace, special summon it to search a vampire, I think. Uh, okay, so we search Brood. Brood's pretty good. Making vampire plays, I'm thinking he ends... Okay. So yeah, I feel... I feel confident about our turn, to say the least. Uh... Let's just get into it. Summon the Suprex. Use the Suprex to summon the Hug Bear. Use the Head Bat. Use the Twist Cobra to summon the Head Bat. And then we just go to town. I think. Okay, so Vampire Domination. Uh, we can still use Suprex, though. No. So what do we want... Uh, we're gonna need the setup for next turn on the unfortunate, so we can't search a suprex. That is no good. In that case, we will search a, let's, let's actually search a Scorpio. That's something we can normal summon next turn, so yeah, as long as we don't get OTK'd here, I feel confident. I was hoping we could get the Link Revo off the board, but unfortunately we cannot. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. But, uh, let's see. Uh, what can he do? He has a Grace, but if he sends something to his... Okay, so there's the Frow line. That could be bad. So if he sends it to the graveyard for comboing things, we can always designate it. And he's just going for the battle phase. A go ahead? Uh, yeah, I actually will. I don't want that. Get that out of my face. These vampire plays are actually baffling me right now. Link Karibo. Best beat down in the game right here, boys. So, we're not in the worst position ever. Definitely not in the best position. Let's, you know, be... 
100% transparent about that. Oh, he's overlaying? Into? Crimson Knight Braum. What's it do? You can detach one. Uh, steal a monster? You can only use... Alright. I mean, sure. Not like we don't have plays we can do. Yeah, let's just, uh... Let's go at it, shall we? I mean, there's no longer, uh... Let's see, once per turn, you can only use it once per turn. Once per turn, during the standby phase of the next turn, after the, this card you control was destroyed by your opponent's car and sent to the graveyard, special summon it in defense mode. Alright, so we probably should not be playing with that. Uh, you're right, alright, alright. We got moves, though. We can make some moves. Uh, I want a Shadow Ogre. Yes. Yes. Use both of them. We'll use the chain link one. Or we can just search now. Uh, rematch, obviously. And we kind of want... I want a face turn. I want to face turn. Because yeah, with this board, we can make something better and if we actually do send the uh the twist cobra to the graveyard we get another search which is kinda sick so we send the twist cobra just so we can get the search no get a bigger boy on board yes Now, what do we want? We want a... Suplex. Now, we can summon our boy, the obvious MVP of this. Finish that. This ogre. <laughs> Are there any defense points on the board? No, there actually aren't. But naturally, first thing we do, attack that Link Karibo. No. Now, I'm not so scared of my own Suprex. I'm a little scared of Bram. I'm going to attack Bram. Because I don't want him stealing any more of my monsters. And we don't really have anything else we can do, so let's just end our turn. It's alright, not awful. Not bad. Now Bram is, you know, coming back, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Okay, so zombie combos are happening. I think A Omega is coming down. The Omega is probably coming down here. Send that Mizuki boy. And he's increasing my own card's level. Interesting choice of tactic. Ooh, Scarglight's bad. That is actually some bad news right there. Uh, so he's increasing everyone's level, it looks like. Yep, there's a Black Rose. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and search rematch. And yeah, let's go ahead and search Suprex. Because we can. There's Suprex. Get over here, my. Get over here, young man. Now, as long as we don't get OTK'd here, I think we're fine. Because I know zombies can do some things. Is it time? I think it's time. Pretty sure we can OTK from this range. Summon the hug bear. Activate the rematch. 
to summon out our Twist Cobra, and let's go for a Rise Scorpio. We want them both. Alright, now we can go ahead and make some plays. So, yeah. Now, obviously, I actually do want to go for Thunder Ogre here. So, let's send Boop, Boop, Boop. Yes, yes. And apparently we win. Because, yeah, he... He black rose unfortunately. But, yeah, I think we were going to OTK there. The plan was to get more searches. Thunder Ogre does give us another normal summon. So we could have gotten out even more things using our second suplex. Alright, so, yeah. Free for free. Let's go. And I guess I'll just see you guys back on the deck edit screen. Alright guys, so here we are back, and I gotta say, I'm hyped. This deck actually worked. It went free for free against some... Well, I actually don't know how strong, like, Armageddon's are as a rogue deck, but, like... The other two. Pretty... Pretty tough rogue decks, I would say. Uh, some of them definitely didn't play to their max potential, I feel like. There was a few misplays on some people's part, like, uh, the Vampire Player really just not paying attention to my searches. The Red Eyes player didn't pay attention to, you know, the Great Ogre's effect. But that's kind of the thing about a lot of these more rogue decks. They don't really read the cards, so they don't know what they do. And that's a little fantastic, I'm not even going to lie. But, uh, yeah, pure Gokies. Definitely... Better than I expected them to be, and I'm very happy to admit that. So, uh, yeah. If you guys got any decks that you want me to try out, any bad deck ideas, let me know. Like, message me, email me, Twitter, comments, whatever way you prefer. I want to know because I have been having a lot of fun doing this lately. Been playing some more roguish strategies. Not been as serious. Just kind of been a fun time, I feel like. And uh, I want to continue this. And I want you guys' input on how I can improve. So, yeah, with that being said, this has been Ronan, signing off.